Hey guys, it's me, Stella Sims 101, and welcome to my January 2016 current household. Oh my god, I haven't done a current household in so effing long. It's been like, it's been literally like half a year. It's been like six months since I've done one of these, and I am so, so, so excited to be sharing with you guys what I am playing with, um, this month. So, this month is pretty much almost over. <laughs> it's pretty much already February, and I know I'm just now getting this out, but I literally just started playing with this family, and, uh, I'm already that excited to show you guys what I'm playing with. My current households really are very temporary like i am always 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 switching households because i just i really lose interest very quickly like i pretty much only stick with uh like family slash pet oriented households i don't know what that is about but um anyways uh so we are in the town of i think plum creek no, Plum Grove, I think it is. So yeah, we're in the town of Plum Grove. It is a custom content town or a, you know, world um, created by someone other than The Sims. I will go ahead and link the town in the description. And fun fact, actually, this town I was actually going to use for uh, my Generations and Pets LP. I was do I was going to move them into this town, but uh, I decided against it because there aren't any like there aren't many public things to do and like you know like things that The Sims can actually go into. It just like everything it says like reserved and I don't feel like adding in my own shit so. <laughs> I decided against it. So, let me tell you, this house is so freaking cute. I didn't have to do anything to this house. It just came like this, and I was like, oh my god. Look at- oh god. Oh, oh my god. Goodbye. Good night. <laughs> Look at how cute this house is. It is so freaking cute. I absolutely adore it. And, um... I, I absolutely adore the family that's living in it, so let's introduce y'all. So, actually, why don't I show you guys the house a little bit, um, just so you guys can see what it looks like and all that good stuff. So, over here, we have a little um, living room area. I kind of went with, like, a theme, like a blue blue does that look like blue to me <laughs> apparently i kind of went with a theme for this room for this whole entire house honestly i went with a lot of bright colors which um i usually don't go for but lately i mean i don't know it's not well furnished at all like not a single bit um because i did just start playing with this household literally um it's been like three or four sim days, <laughs> uh, so really haven't been playing with this too long. That's why there's no curtains, which does drive me a little crazy. Um, and there's actually a toy out, which um, that's not a that's a kid's toy. All right. Um, so this is a mint green themed room. It's like a living room, and uh, it just has n the necessities: um, a TV and this. Oh my god. This is my all-time favorite plant. I know it's like, why am I focusing on a plant right now, Stella? What? Pull yourself together. This plant is so like, uh, this is my, this is the Sims 2 plant reconverted into the Sims 3. Oh my god, I love it so much. This is my all-time favorite plant like i cannot get enough of this plant in sims 2 it's literally the only plant i use and i have been looking for this baby <sighs> my whole life um and then into the kitchen i kind of switches off to a dark brown theme which i feel like brown and brown and green kind of go well together so that worked out well 
Um, and then you would just have, you know, a basic kitchen, um, separated w- by a little half wall into the living room. So, yeah. And then you have a door leading outside, which is nothing. <laughs> uh, I'll probably later add in like a little backyard for the kids to play in and um, maybe like a little patio area where you could sit and eat and stuff. And here's the dining room. <laughs> there you go. There's my dining room right there. <sighs> Moving on. <laughs> Here is the bathroom. Uh, it has like a light purple theme going on. Um, nothing too special. Got a kitty litter box and a shower and toilet and a sink. And that's really it. <laughs> Um, and then coming into here, this is, um, the mother's room. Again, not well decorated at all because we have no money. We have 34 simoleons. <sighs> and, uh, yeah, it's not decorated at all either, except I did put in a little painting of this lady, which I really love, actually. It's so pretty. And then a picture of a cat, because we have a cat in the household, so why not? Um, so in this, it's kind of a coastal theme I'm going for, I guess. It's all kind of light and stuff. So this room was very hard to paint, because um, it's not even. The room isn't, like, even. That's why it doesn't look even. So for the paint, I painted, um, cause they are two totally separate little girls. I wanted to emphasize that with their room. Part of the room's theme is purple and the other part is like a reddish, pinkish theme. <laughs> Just kind of themed the whole room on that with like little polar, polar bear? Is that a polar bear? A koala bear! <laughs> A koala bear theme uh, as well and uh, yeah that's about it with this house it's a starter home obviously so <laughs> it's not that great all right so let's introduce you guys to miss Abigail Larkins she is the mother of this family and um, you can tell she loves being a single mom. <laughs> she's just, she's literally about to lose her shit right now. Like, she is so upset. She's just sitting on this couch like, my life is flashing before my eyes. She is literally about to lose her shit. Um, <laughs> she is a, she's shy. She is family oriented, a hopeless romantic, kleptomaniac, and nurturing. So basically... I wanted to kind of give her a different personality than I would for a regular family. Um, she is a single mom, so um, part of that um, single mom vibe, I decided to make her a kleptomaniac because hey, you gotta pay, you gotta pay them bills, gotta pay them bills somehow. Uh, she hasn't stolen anything yet, but. I'm working on it. And Shy, I just was like, hey, let's do it, you know? She likes to be around family, and she's shy to new people, so... Hey, maybe that's why she's not married. <laughs> um, and she is currently 11 days until aging up. Her favorites are Soul, Chili Con Carne, and Aqua, and uh, she is a Libra. Libra. Um, and right now she is a paper girl. Uh, she's working for the journalism career. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it that way. Not quite sure yet. Um, cause she's not doing well in it at all. And she's been there for like four sim days already. But part of that is that we don't have a computer, so she can't work on her writing skill quite yet. Uh, she doesn't have any skills. <laughs> Um, she has a book in her inventory. Why am I talking about this? And, um, obviously, the single mom life is definitely stressing her life out. Like, she is so tired from taking care of all the babies. Yes! Alright. <laughs> 
So this is number one of the twins. This is Clarissa Larkins. She is the twin number one of two of this family. She is the pink red vibe of this family. She is the definitely the girly one. I tried to make her that way anyways. And uh, she has black hair and uh, blue eyes. So apparently the father had black hair or something. I don't know. Um, and she's wearing these little Cinnabon rolls. Oh, not right now, but she, normally she's wearing Cinnabon rolls, which, oh, I just, I freaking love that hairstyle. <sighs> so, so much. Uh, she's currently one day until aging up, which is crazy. So far right now, she is good and artistic, and her favorites are indie music, pancakes, and hot pink, which you can tell by her room uh and she is a taurus so yes that is clarissa larkins and both of them are obsessed with playing with their imaginary friend it's a little scary honestly <laughs> all right let's see if we can get a good shot of this kid all right this is oh my god this is sienna i think sienna Sienna Larkins, yes, this is Sienna Larkins. She is twin number two, and uh, she is definitely a different... Uh, whenever I have twins, whenever I make twins, I always have them, like, be so much different from the other one. So this one is oh, gonna, gonna be our edgy type of sim. As you can see, she's not going for a normal girly theme like this half of the half of the room over here she is going for a different different kind of theme i guess <laughs> purple kind of theme and uh her clothes are all kind of all kinds of different colors just to emphasize that she is different from a regular girly girl type of sim uh, her traits are brave and excitable. I also wanted to stress um, the difference between Sienna and um, Clarissa because she, uh, Sienna is brave and excitable while her sister is, you know, mellow, good, artistic, doing things, you know, quiet, very low-key, and uh, Sienna is not afraid to do pretty much anything. <laughs> Her favorites are rap, spaghetti, and purple. <laughs> and she is also a Taurus, of course. I don't know why they separate the birthdays. I don't know what happened there, but whatever. <laughs> and yeah, that is about it for those twinnies. Over here, we have Lilac Larkins. She is the cat of this household. She is so, so freaking cute. <laughs> I absolutely love how big and fluffy she is. You guys know me. I am just out of this world in love with fluffy animals. I don't know what it is. Big dog, big fluffy dogs. I, I could just squeeze for days. Um, so I never really do cats for households. So I was like, hey, let's do this so um why not she is quiet she is neat and she is friendly she's a lot um she's a lot like abigail i would say she's very quiet you know neat she she is friendly but you know she's quiet so yeah she's a lot like marie in my generations and pets household like if marie were a cat she would be lilac. Um, and li You guys. Oh my god. You guys. I did not know this cat was a male. <laughs> well, you learn new things every day. <laughs> oh my god, that's so... Well, you know what? Lilac could be... Um, for either gender, I guess. I don't know, you guys. I don't even know what I was thinking. <sighs> Anyways, <laughs> I don't think we can even change his name. 
nope, we can't, which is great. Makes things so much easier. But, uh, yeah, that is about it. Currently, um, Abigail is on the hunt for a man. She is a hopeless romantic, so she is always, you know, daydreaming about finding the one, her soulmate, her father for the twins. <laughs> All that good stuff. So, yeah, currently she's in her work outfit, but I think it's pretty cute. So, I was like, why not keep it? Um, so, yeah, that is about it for this current household. Um, I will have the town link in the description. Again, I think this is called Plum... Um, Plum Valley? What did I say it was? <laughs> Whatever, anyways. Um, and I will also have this family on the exchange. Um, so you can just click that in the, in the description as well. Um, so yeah, that is it for the Larkins household. I hope you guys enjoyed this current household. And if you did, don't forget to leave a big fat thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, leave a big fat thumbs up. And uh, yeah, uh, subscribe if you would like to. And I love you guys so freaking much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.